Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel Beyond the Moon. I am doing a peek at your person love tarot reading. So Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Feel free to cross watch, but don't force anything to fit. Okay, Taurus, it is a general reading. And also fun, exciting announcement at the end of this video. So stick around, all right? It's about a Valentine's Day giveaway and a 10K uh, subscriber giveaway. So stay tuned. All right, so Taurus, I was honing in on your energy and I was feeling, now you guys know, for some reason, Taurus, I cannot break the energy of this connection that you have going on. Hopefully something different changes, but I was getting uh, that song by the outfields, uh, Your Love, that one that goes, Josie's on a vacation far away. Um, I don't want to lose your love tonight. I feel like you may have an encounter with this person that's been holding so tightly onto you, or they really are trying to get you to like hang out or come visit them, see them, something like that. Uh, but let's get into your reading, all right? Your overall energy uh, for Taurus. What's going on? Overall energy for Taurus in love. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus thinker. Yeah, they probably got you all up in your thoughts, in your head. Um, seeing number 44 here, so look up angel number 44 and see if there's a message there for you. Thinker. So you're really, you could be really confused or just sleepless nights, high anxiety, overthinking, obsessing thoughts like repeating, replaying, that kind of a thing going on. Uh, Taurus, yeah, imagine. <sighs> So you're envisioning things or trying to manifest things or trying to like almost tap into your intuition to get a sense of like, what would your future look like if you did choose path A or path B um, or C, <laughs> you know, I feel like you're really trying to tap in and tune into that energy there. Um, but let's see, what does your person have for an overall energy? Also, keep in mind, Taurus, when I say your person's overall energy, it can still be yours. It can be flip-flopped and reversed. So keep an open mind as we go through the reading, but don't force anything, all right? All right, Taurus's person's overall energy, deep knowing. So they have this deep knowing that you, you are the one, or possibly... We have time to go and building blocks. They may, or it could be you, could be finally releasing this. Maybe it's like with that song that I was hearing, it's like one last fling before I go or one last night together, you know, uh, before this is finally done and over. I feel like your person may finally, finally, finally be accepting that this connection or this situation can no longer go on and if you've been following me Taurus you know it, you haven't been wanting this your person has like they've been chasing you I'm seeing a lot of fours here you guys look up angel numbers and then building blocks either it's either they're finally releasing you or they know that it's time for them to let go of Things that no longer serve them anymore. Um, for some of you, this person, I feel like, was emotionally unstable or had, you know, maybe substance abuse or drinking too much or, you know, just emotionally all over the place. Um, look, we have a fork in the road in here and now. There is some stuck energy still going on. There's still some confusion, stuck energy, but let's get into it and see what's going on. Current energy is for Taurus's person. Current energy is for Taurus's person. What is going on? Uh, three of Wands, waiting. What are they waiting for? What are they waiting for? What is Taurus's person waiting for? <sighs> Did you block them? <laughs> Taurus, did you get fed up and finally block them? We have the Hermit Virgo energy and Hangs Man Pisces energy. Your person could be waiting for you, uh, Taurus, to gain a different perspective on the situation or get some clarity or they're trying to get some clarity with that deep. I feel like you're both kind of mirroring each other a little bit with the... Dark night of the soul, the the tuning in, the you know intuition, and really trying to figure out what the heck is going on here. I feel like both of you 
You could be meditating for some of you. You could be having that 5D connection and communicating in the 5D, do, like through dream states. Um, but I feel like your person may have actually pulled their energy back a little bit here um, from this, this connection. We have Ten of Cups and the Fool, Aries energy. What are they... So they have their, their ultimate happiness on their minds, wanting to take some kind of leap of faith. Three of Cups and the Chariot, Cancerian energy. Hmm. Taurus, did you, did you happen to meet someone new for some of you? Ooh. They may have met someone new. Oh, for some reason, I feel like your person, it's like they're waiting something out. They could be stuck between a decision of which way to move forward, where to take a leap of faith. There could be somebody else involved here now with the Three of Cups and then the Chariot. It's like if for some reason you haven't heard from this person in a little while, Taurus, I feel like they may have met uh, met somebody else that their attention is on now or that they're trying to take a leap of faith towards if not if that's not your situation and there was a third party situation i feel like this person is trying to recover from that and even though they caused it it's like they're trying to move on from that all right let's see what's blocking this what's blocking this connection Knight of Cups, Pisces energy, romance and apology, Seven of Cups, options, confusion. I mean, hey, maybe that's it. Maybe your person met somebody new and they were trying to like hit you up for like one last night or something. Some people do that. They just do. Uh, what else? Blockages for Taurus. Blockages. The moon. Cancerian Pisces energy. Something could be happening on the full moon that's coming up, or there's things that are unknown or unseen. You may not know. You may not know if this person did start talking to somebody else or if there was a third party situation. Yeah, communication is being blocked. They don't want to they don't want to tell you. They don't want to tell you because of all the crap they put you through, all the fighting for you, all the drama. They pulled their energy back because now they don't want to like confess or own up to it. We have Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. That's moving slow, being methodical, practical, having a plan. We have the Chariot in their current energy, which is like, Choosing a path and moving forward, like, fast. Like, the, the difference in, like, the speed of these horses, you know? Could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sag, that they're talking to. What else? Blockages. Blockages. Blockages for Taurus and their person. Wow. <laughs> Taurus.
Yeah, there's some kind of secrets of some new beginning. We have the High Priestess, which is Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, Ace of Wands, and Ace of Cups. Your person met somebody new. They're having some kind of new beginning that they're, they're moving in silence. They're keeping it a secret from you. For most of you, any for, for some of you, you already know. For some of you, this may not be the case. For some of you, it's like they put you in a third-party situation. You may know of it. I feel like communication got cut off. And this new beginning here with the Ace of Cups and Ace of Wands is being blocked. I do feel there are secrets, though. There's the Moon and the High Priestess. I feel like... They were keeping something from you. Something. Keeping something from you. Let's see. How does this person truly feel about you? How does this person truly feel about you, Taurus? How does this person truly feel about you? Taurus. Taurus. The wheel. They could feel like, yeah, either you're done, you're moving forward, moving on, this was too much of a heartache, pain, or they have chosen. They do have time to go. Again, remember, flip-flop and reverse the energies as you see fit, but they feel like it's finally, it's time to let go, let this, let this go. And that could be what's getting you all up in your head, Taurus. Almost like you didn't see this coming because they were so persistent for such a long time to try and get you back or win you back that all of a sudden it's like you're blocked on everything. There's no communication happening and you're like, what the heck? So now you're all up in your head. Like, I don't get it. How else do they feel about Taurus? How else do they feel about Taurus? I really do just want to shake your person, <laughs> you know? Uh, what else? Blockages, blockages. All right. Temperance in reverse, Sagittarius energy, or sorry, not blockages, how they feel about you. Temperance, patience, divine timing, going with the flow. Your person could be doing this for attention from you. If you're resonating with this, go back a few, like a month or two and all that. Binge watch them if you feel like it. Help yourself. Um, I feel like this person was really trying to keep you stuck. And we have eight of swords here and strength. They could have, they could now feel like you're stuck or they want you to be stuck and then strength courage confidence they could leo energy they could be trying they could be seeing you trying to break free from this or just let this go you've been trying to let this go that's the thing Ugh. but it's almost like the chase you know what i mean like don't take this the wrong way, but it's like they were chasing you and it was kind of making you feel like good, like, oh, as frustrating as it is and was and God, <laughs> some of these readings, I feel like at the same time you were kind of like, they're not going anywhere. You know what I mean? I have the upper hand, but now it's like they blocked you or cut you off or shut you off. And now you're like, what? And I feel like they know that. How else do they feel about Taurus? How else do they feel? Well, there you are. That's your energy. So they could be seeing you in your energy, Taurus. Your earthly, grounded... 
stubborn energy. They do see you, though, as, like, long-term, loyal, like, marriage material. For some of you, you could have been married to this person. Hmm. Seven of Swords and Ace of Swords. There could be a fire sign again. King of uh, Wands here. Leo, Aries, Sag. If perhaps you're dealing with a fire sign, it doesn't have to be a fire sign, but I feel like they're, they're kind of doing this on purpose. Like... That seven of swords, like sneaky behavior, lies, deceit, backstab type energy, like sneaky. Because they want, they still want victory. So yeah, no. If they met another person, I feel like it's to make you jealous or to get your attention. They're doing it for a reason. So they're basically using this other person to make you jealous. All right, that would make sense with the energy that's been happening here. All right, Taurus, potential outcome, potential outcome. Keep in mind, uh, you have free will, they have free will. You can change your mind, they can change theirs. I'm just here to read the energies. I'm not here to tell you what to do. So use your own discernment, all right? Potential outcome for Taurus with this person, Nine of Swords. Yeah, that's what's going on. Overthinking, stressful nights, sleepless nights, anxiety, crying, replaying events over in your head, confusion, stress. Look at this. The devil, four of pentacles, queen of wands. There's strong fire sign coming through. It could be anybody. It could be any sign. But I have strong fire. So even if they're not a fire sign, I feel like they're adapting to that fiery energy, that fierce, go-getter, fun, flirty, attractive, looking good, feeling good, going out there, putting themselves out there. But look, the devil, Capricorn energy, there, there's... There's toxic nature attached to this. Sorry about my dog. Gigi. It's, was that the sheep in wolves clothing saying? It's like, they're coming off like this, Taurus, like queen of wands, male or female, doesn't matter. There's no gender in tarot, but in my power, you know, go get her. Posting things probably that like make them look like they're successful, they're doing good, they're hanging out with friends, they're going out, they're having fun, they're wanted, they're attractive, blah, blah, blah. So they're showing themselves to the world like this, but behind the scenes, it's this. There's a motive here. There's an intention. I, I do also feel like there is a strong soulmate chain bond. Look, we have the Hierophant in reverse. That higher level of commitment, it's not going to happen with this. It's, I'm sorry. It's just not if you were hoping for it. I'm not saying this person's going away forever. I'm saying there's red flags all over this reading with what this person is trying to do. The star Aquarius energy. Four of cups, two of swords. Taurus, I feel like you're, you're going to reject them or ignore them. Turn your back on them. Your emotions, you've already removed your emotions. Right now, you might be a little bit hurt or confused or... The ego, I want to say, the ego is a little bit, like, mm, bruised, you know? Just because this person's been chasing you for so long, and now it's like, what the heck? Well, like, two nights ago, you just said this to me, and now this? There's a motive here. <laughs> They're doing it on purpose. But I think in the end, you're still, you're still going to turn your back on them. 
that I, they are. They're they're using they're emotionally manipulative. But I feel like you've learned that and you've removed your emotions. So I don't. I don't know what else this outcome. Yeah, you're gonna be very protective of your energy. You may feel abandoned, or you may just abandon this whole thing. You're, you're rejecting it already. You're catching on to what they're doing. You know, you're not stupid, Doris, you know. You're protecting your energy and I feel like you're abandoning this and you're trying to find like new love. You want victory and success in a relationship. You may have options, but let's see what's coming towards Taurus in love in the near future. Who's coming towards Taurus in the near future in love? Ten of Pentacles, the star, Aquarius energy, six of cups, seven of swords, two of cups, and king of pentacles. That's you. I feel like you have a soulmate, possibly someone that you've known from the past. This could be someone that you've been recently thinking about or recently reached out to you or someone you have some kind of history with. You could even have children with this person. It's not this person. You have somebody else coming towards you that I feel is a wish come true. And I feel like they're going to sneak up on you and you're not going to be aware. But it's, look, we have King of Pentacles, Two of Cups, the Seven of Swords with the Six of Cups. Now, the Seven of Swords, I'm sorry, Gigi. Sorry. The Seven of Swords, I'm saying different because it's surrounded by all positive cards. So I feel like this is either like you taking your power back or this person is going to like sneak up on you and you're not going to see it coming. But it is a soulmate bond, a soulmate connection, and it is a wish come true. I do feel like either you've known them since childhood or have past memories with them. But I don't feel like it's this person. I feel like it's someone new. All right, let's see. Obstacles. Well, yeah, see, you're walking away from this person. They're too much. It was too much, and you're walking away. All right, let's see. Obstacles for Taurus. What obstacles are you going to have to overcome in this connection? Aloneness. So, yeah, for a little while, you might be feeling alone. So don't fall for the temptation of this person. I mean, do it if you want to, but... It, you just might feel like dark days right now or very alone, especially now if they're portraying that they've met somebody new. Yeah, sorrow, sadness, regret, exhaustion. Well, yeah, you're not sleeping. You're way too much up in your head. Embrace that energy. This is like a growth learning time experience for you. Be with yourself. Be with your thoughts, your emotions. Ignore the outside world. Go within. I know it sounds cheesy, whatever, but I did it before, and wow, it's life-changing. You need to release all of that. Cry it out, write it out, journal it out, walk it out, exercise it out, meditate it out, whatever you got to do. Um, anything <laughs> to release that, all right? All right. Uh, let's see. What else do we have for Taurus? Advice. And we'll get into that right after this quick message. Hi everyone, thank you so much for sticking with me until this part in your reading. I really appreciate all your love and support for my channel. Your reading is not done, so please just bear with me. I promise I'll make this message quick. Um, I am doing a Valentine's Day giveaway on or around February 14th. The winner will be chosen in order to enter. All you have to do is have a personal reading done or a distance Reiki healing session done. So um, up until February 14th, if you've already had any of my services, uh, you are already entered, okay? So I am giving away a karma sutra uh deck all right so it's it's pretty fun there's some different uh fun ways to connect with your person in there i'm also giving away a sage smudge stick um the palo santo stick 
selenite crystal wand, and also a rose quartz. So all of this will be included into the giveaway for February 14th, all right? And also, you guys, remember I still have my 10K subscriber giveaway going on, so if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Um, also, please share with your friends and family. Uh, the 10K giveaway, all the details are in the description box, but I'm giving away um, an iPad, Oracle card decks, tarot card decks, free services, free readings. Um, so it's going to be a really big one. We're halfway there, actually over halfway there. So thank you so much for all your love and support. Let's get back into your reading. All right, what else do we have for Taurus? We have denial, repressed emotions, rejection, unable to see below the surface separation, no contact, 5D dreams, nightmares, focus on your own happiness. See, I feel like you guys are communicating in the 5D uh, through your dream states. Um, somebody is in denial here. I feel like it could be your person, but it could have switched. Look at Chaser. I told you this person was chasing you in pursuit, convincing, rejection. Let them go and let it be. So now if like the runner you is going to turn and become the chaser, let it go. Don't chase. Don't chase. I just saw big goals. So set goals, work towards them. And look what's coming in for you. Balance, yin, yang, darkness and light. Stay centered in your higher self. And then romance, rebel, flow, savor, entice. Open yourself to romance, new love. All right. Uh, let's see. What else do we have for Taurus? What else? Engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. You have a soulmate coming towards you. I feel like you know who they are. Like you, you've met them before. I don't feel like it's going to be someone new. I feel like it's someone, not this person, but it is someone from the past. Or a friend, a friendship that turns into a relationship. All right, coffin. Endings bring new beginnings. Growth, change, liberation, transition. See? Endings bring new beginnings. Cupid's arrow. Aww. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting and hesitation. I told you, you're not going to see this other per Like, they're going to sneak up on you um, in a good way, a good surprise. Out of the blue. All right, so... You have good things coming, so release this situation, please, so I can have better readings for you guys. <laughs> anyway, Taurus, that is what I have for you. Please uh, hit that subscribe button, subscribe to my channel to enter into the 10K giveaway. Don't forget to smash the like button, too, and if you'd like to book a personal reading, information's in the description box below. And until next time, Taurus, love and light, take care.